Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. I don't know about you, but I can be very moody. <laughs> um, I think the moods go up and down, sometimes like within the same day, let alone the same week. And when the moods do this, I, you know, it can really affect my productivity and um, my relationships and things. So that's motivated me to put together this sequence that is designed to boost mood and allow a sense of stability and stamina. And it will raise your heart rate and get the blood flowing and bring some lightness and joy into your daily life. So come and join me standing up and we'll put ourselves straight into this power stance where the legs are open and the feet are out to the sides and grounded. Lean your shoulders back and just let your hips sway a little bit. Uh, a few little circles. Back one way, back the other way. Uh, we're going to just start to get the breath circulating. So this is a, is a bit of a powerful breath. Take uh, fists with your hands and we're just going to say ha as you exhale and pull the elbows in towards your waist. So inhale and pulling in like that. So inhale and you can say ha if you're feeling particularly angry moody. So you make your ha work for you in whatever mood you're in, whether it's a bit of a low mood, it can be that too. But let's try and get the ha, ha work in and you pull in and make your core activate. And the legs will be firing up too. And take it to the side. And you can speed it up and take it all the way around. Oh, it's quite hard. Get lower to make it work more. And then we reach up. Oh, gosh. Reaching all around. And straighten the legs. Release and shake out the hands. So just letting that go. All right, so now coming back into that stance, we'll twist over to um, each side, over to your right, into a kind of a lunge with the heel lifting, and pull and gather in. So, back to the middle in your uh, grounded squat position, and then sweep over to your left side, pull and gather in. So we'll alternate that one side to the other side, and you can add your half breath to make it more powerful. When you come back into the middle, really kind of get that buoyancy through the pelvis by staying soft through the knees. Alternating from squat to lunge, getting your legs fired up, getting that stability in the legs. And then reaching up, so stretch up right now, so you reach up to the top corner and pull in. Reach up and pull in. It's all about bringing energy to the core, to the center body. To give you a, a sense of sort of um, power. I think if you feel the stability in your power source at your core, then it really helps to manage the ups and downs of mood swings when they hit. And do, do try and smile as well, because, you know, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> if you get your muscles and your, your face relaxed and smiling, then it will really help you work towards a genuine smile. So I'm coming down now onto the right side where the hand's on the inside. And then coming, reach up, let's straighten the legs. And then come down, reach up, straighten the legs. Alternate, bringing the hand to the inside. Now think about really pulling up as if your arms were being pulled up. And over to the other side, one more. 
bring the elbows to the knee, reach over to your right with your right arm. Inhale, and then exhale back to middle. Inhale, reach over, exhale back to middle. A couple more pulsations. You are gonna get really strong legs doing this as well. That's a byproduct, boosting your mood, looking strong too. <laughs> All right, and then across. Last move from this stance, keep it up. You can always have little rests by straightening your legs, go back in called the halo with the arms so I'm going to kind of just wrap the arms around the head and we'll just alternate halo arms over the head and then pull it in so up side squat send it across up elbows bend side squat pull it across couple of those to open up the, the chest and shoulders too all right, stretch out the legs in triangle. So adjust your feet, turn the right toes out, the left toes 45 degrees. So you've got the heel of your right foot in line with the arch of the left. Slide the right hand down, bring the left arm parallel. Look up. Reach all the way up and come over to the other side. So turn the left toes out, bring the left hand down the shin and the right arm in line with the left. Breathe, looking up. If it bothers your neck, you can just look ahead and ground in the feet and slowly come up. Right, last option here. You can either just be here pushing the hips forward and looking up bringing the blood flow to circulate, or you could try the balance coming up next. So you soften the right knee, place the right hand in front of the right foot and send your left leg up, balancing here. If you're near a wall space, you can cheat putting your hip into the wall. And this is really excellent for boosting mood because you're sending your limbs out in all directions yeah, so the wall there is a wonderful cheat if you need it. Still, still works, it's not a complete cheat. Let's go over to the other side. So left fingertips, a foot in front of left foot. Start to straighten the leg as you send your right leg up. And breathe here, extending the limbs in the direction they're pointing. Expanding your energy field. Take a breath and triumphantly land lightly. <laughs> All right, walk the feet in and just pedal the feet out and shake it off. Hopefully you feel warmer, you feel more vibrant, you feel lighter and hopefully less moody. <laughs> Thank you, see you next time.